I'm almost inclined to believe them, Fiddy Grandmaster. Oh, 2200 on this turtle classical thing, question mark. Damn. Is it a pretend title? But, I mean, 2267 is quite high, isn't it? I wonder how many games they've played. No, they must have played quite a few still. 2267 in the turtle. No. No, they won't put me playing it. Maybe they're working their way up. Is it a secret account or something? Oh, when you feel you've just been stitched up. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Time is running out.
I don't think they're a real Fiddy Master, obviously it's just the title that they've used in the name. Hi, what didn't you know? Oh, <laughs> you're special. <laughs> How are you doing? You okay? Mm, this is a bit special. Okay, that one had to hurt a little bit, but definitely, um, well, they're high scoring on the classical games. 2267, that's massive. But I don't think they're a proper Fiddy Grandmaster. I would have got wiped out. Um, okay, going to move on to the next one. This is the snail trail, trying to attempt to get to the 1700 in the position that I don't like, which is Blitz. Um, I don't like Blitz, don't like Bullet. But we're trying to. Thank you, thank you very much. Nice one. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. I'm just going to crack on. I've got to put my concentration into the game. I'm not like the um, really good streamers where they can talk and uh, play games at the same time. Um, that really, I haven't got that skill. Okay, so I'm going to go back in. But really appreciate you stopping by. Okay, let's, um, let's crack on. In this way. <laughs> okay, they've gone for a bit of speed. I'm going to just go through the center. Uh, maybe not in this game. Idea is probably just to take all the pieces off the board if I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like we've got a situation kicking in here. Mm-hmm, okay, I'm gonna move the queen here.
protect the king. Get the king castle nice and safe. Let's get this bishop out. X-ray through to the queen. Sounds like a plan. Also trying to keep my king a little bit not home alone. Keep it give it some company. Does capture? Hmm, that's an interesting one. Knee jerk reaction is to take with the paw. But I don't need to because I do have my queen. So let's just bring this here. Time is running down, so I'm probably going to need to speed up a little bit. And uh, let's just get rid of this. So conscious my queen is on the other side of the board. I don't mind doubling my pawn up in front of my king, you know. Is that going to be a good thing or a bad thing? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. This pawn. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's on the attack. And let's just get rid of that. Gets his queen moving a little bit to the side. Let's just attack this pawn here. Does capture. I'm surprised, actually. I'm very surprised. So hopefully we can start putting some pressure here. Or well, maybe not. <laughs> He says, no, not today. Hmm. <laughs> if they forget themselves, we get that queen for free. Okay, fair enough. Seeing the world. Let's grab, okay. I need to speed up now. Got two on one. Delicate operation. And this blocks down, but I'm feeling that that potentially gives us a bit of space here. Get centralized with the rook. Obviously, he's coming to protect. Get a two on one. I suppose he brings his rook here as well. Hmm. Bit of a poor majority. A little bit of a cluster going here, so that might work for us. You can see this defending. Yep. And I'm going to bring the rook, like we said, just to. And that rook is coming down, like we said. This rook doesn't have any protection on it, so we can take this pawn. If he takes our rook, then we take his rook. It's even Stevens, but hopefully a better position for us, maybe. Probably can still come and attack this pawn with his rook, but we can always bring our rook back down. Time-wise, we're not doing too good. Two minutes, they're on four minutes. So we've got to speed up, but I think I'm happy that we took that time to get a better position. King moves. We do actually win a tempo, so we can actually come down and attack the pawn. Obviously, he's coming here. Get the king involved now. It's time to get the king centralized. I'm hoping this cluster here is going to help us out. This king's attacking us. Mm, let's get the king up. Let's 
So he's trying to operate his pawn majority. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to come across for this pawn. He's given us something to think about. If he does push, I suppose we just go here with our pawn. Time's running down now, so I'm going to have to really put some speed in here. It might be a loss on time. Let's focus. Does he take or does he push past? Does he just push these pawns down? Do we have time to make our way over towards the rook and the pawn? Ooh, tricky times. Yeah, oh, he's coming for an exchange, a ma. If we take, is it a draw? Just take this with it. Oh, shit. God damn. Oh, he's missed it. <laughs> His king could have just taken our rook. Ah, oh, dear me, that was too much overthinking. Okay, let's take it. That was way too much overthinking. So he's got those pawns. We've got linked ones here. Does that work for us? Push up. 132, we're on there on three minutes. Does it work? There, there, yeah, okay. If we push. Got to move real quick now. Although that's not good because our king goes to the other side, doesn't it? Yeah, but we do have this power. Woohoo! No, let's go here. Because he wants a passive, don't he? Don't think there's going to be enough time to cause any devastation. I'm going to have to do bullet. Just take. And we know what my bullet's like. It ain't the best. But it's not the worst either. Let's go. Oosh, ah. That was a little bit to the wire. Okay. Okay, let's get going. I'm not sure the opponent, no, they haven't started. Okay.
<sighs> okay, we're on. Let's just grab this. Hmm, interesting. I think what we'll do is ignore that. We've taken our pawn. We don't need to have another one. It's that practice of the gambits. We've mentioned that in the in the webinar and the previous video before. I'm going to leave it. It's very tempting. Probably can take it. The engines will probably go, yes, just take it. But I don't want to lose out in developing my pieces. So I'm actually going to develop the knight. So I just want to stick true with what we're actually trying to say about gambits. Um, as you develop and you get further up and you're more advanced, then uh, feel free to, you know, take that next step. But for now, just I'm highlighting the fact that stay away from them, take the first one, but then after that, just leave it. Reason being, you're not developing your pieces and the opponent then has loads of space to then come and attack you. So we're keeping it simple. But we need to move a bit quicker. But I'm trying to find the best positions. Need to go on Kingside Castle. So it's got pieces attacking, but uh, I think we could, we're covered there. Swing, oops, swing it around. So it's a little bit scrappy, but I think we're okay in terms of being able to get castled. It's probably going to focus now on trying to protect the pawn rather than castling, so maybe this sort of action is going to take place. Might leave the king a little bit open. Oh, he's actually taken with the queen. He or she, whichever. All right, so that's a, a nice touch. Queen's protecting the pawn. Knight can come back, can it? If it comes to the side, it's just getting chased around. Suppose it can dance back here. Could develop the bishop, bring it out, supporting the knight. Pawn's going to still come and touch it anyway. Hmm. Give space for the rook to come through and attack their king. Pawn could go up, couldn't it? Oh, but then it blocks our castling. Let's just develop the bishop. So we're trying to stay true to the system, which is get the pieces developed, working them together as best possible. Even from the quirky opening that the opponent attempted to put in place. So their focal point is protecting this pawn as best possible. He's looking to take our knight off. Our knight's in a precarious position anyway, so I think I'll take it off. Okay, so our bishop can now attack his queen if it chose to do so. Uh, we could castle. Is there any problems with any of that? Uh, do, 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 do. If we come here, then he can go here. We could castle and he can still go there, but then we take his... Um, yeah, then we're protecting the rook. So let's castle. Uh, do, 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 do. Pawns attacking the bishop. Hmm. It's an odd one, that one, because we can attack his queen, can't we? I suppose his queen does come and attack the pawn. If we attacked here, then he goes and attacks there anyway. Hmm. 
Okay, I think I'm going to bring the bishop here and just attack it. I don't really see a problem with that. I'm trying to take my time to get a good position before I start moving speedy. They haven't castled as yet. So if we can get a half decent position, then we can start practicing the bullet type stuff. We're on three minutes, they're on five minutes, so it's not really time to practice the bullet, bullet just yet. Let's see if we can get a half decent position. He's got to come and attack the pawn. He hasn't done, okay. He's let it go for free. There's nothing else attacking here. We need to start attacking the king. Okay, three minutes. Oh, they're moving dead quick now. So they must have, they must have some sort of answer to the situation. This pawn doesn't have any protection on it. Uh, 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 uh. Go for the simple. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Maybe get this these rooks doubled up here. And then we can go in for hopefully trying to squeeze them. He's going for castling now. Going for castling. <laughs> can't take that. Can't take that. His queen's protecting everything at the moment. I'm going to just go for the simple doubling of the rooks. He is facing our king, so we have to be very careful. Bishop doesn't have any protection, obviously that's why I've done that particular move. They're looking to operate something in front of the king, but it's just not got the right diagonal for it. So at the minute the queen's by itself, but I think he's going to try and do something somewhere. But unless of course he's just going to simply protect it with the rook. Time-wise, 2.30. They're on 3.45, so they're still ahead of us, time-wise. Bishop comes and attacks. Is attacking our bishop. Does that improve our position at all? We do have, like, a two-on-one situation here. I don't really want to give them any weight. If he sits here, then our pawn can just come here, so that's okay. I'm actually just taking this pawn off the board. Wow, they moved there quick. That must have been an obvious move. Okay, doubling the rooks, like we said, seems to work for us. We're on two minutes at the minute, so it is kind of like my bullet area now, the two minute mark, because that's what we've been practicing. Okay, so just make sure that that's okay. Still very careful because he's in front of our king. But I don't think there's much danger there, but can't be too confident. Might have to bring the bishop back and attack him now. <clears throat> Whoa, he's going for an exchange. Bishop's protecting. Uh, well, what can we do? What can we do? Uh, what am I doing? Right, faster. Just bring this bishop back. I'm concerned about my king being home alone. It's going to get some sort of back ranker. Try and block this pawn. Let's just push this up a little bit. 
do have these pawns that could potentially start moving. Okay, let's get them moved. Mm-hmm. Just targeting the king area now. Let's get these moved. Targeting my poor bishop. What has my bishop done to you? Okay, let's go. This king is fairly safe, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have to come back. There's no point shooting up there. He's got it's mini tight pressure towards the king. I don't think it's major. It's just that if we ignore it, they'll get a checkmate on us. So I'm just trying to cover the blind spots. We've only got a minute left. So if we can block off all of this stuff, then maybe we're in for something. Let's get that back here. Mm -hmm. Let's go. No, 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 no. I don't want any of that stuff. I don't think he's taken with the queen, though. I think he's going to the other side of the board. Oh, garbage. Forty five seconds. They're on 46 seconds, 44, 43. We're in crazy bullet mode now. Crazy, crazy. Um, check. This is where it's going to get all silly now, isn't it? Um, so check and then, ooh, what do we have? Something or the other protecting. 35 seconds. Come on, let me win on time. This, oh, shit. Is that me done for? Has it got a check? Where's my? Why is it not moving? Okay. Has it got a check, mate? Oh no, not yet. Something's happening. Oh, mouse slip! What the? <laughs> what the? I was putting it there and it just stopped there. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, I'm not wearing that. Nah, that's bad. Nah, get out of it. Dear me. Oh, that is bad form. Ah. Oh. Gutted, gutted. Ah, oh, dear me. That is terrible. Yep, terrible. Right, let's get back in the horse. Damn mouse slip. Oh, I wouldn't even class that as a mouse slip, it just stopped. A mouse slip is where you drag it to a place when by accident. Whereas I wasn't, I was dragging it and then it just naturally just stopped. I still have my finger pressed on the button and everything. Eee, dear me. This is why it's the snail, the snail sliver to 1800. 
Um, got enough protection there. Let's bring the bishop out. Unreal. What's us? Quite enjoying that game as well. Um, let's take the gambit. This is all pretty straightforward stuff. This here, and we like to attack the bishop. And we do like to take it, but on this occasion, I'm going to leave it and castle. Still going to take it easy. I'm not going to let the last game beat up my game. Um, we were doing fairly okay. It was really a winning position, I believe. But hey, these things are sent to try us. Okay, so now I think I will take. Move a bit faster. Don't really want to get into time scrambles at all. Oh, he's coming for the knight for. Oh, I know what he's coming for. Knight's protecting there at the minute. Let's try to push through the center here. Hmm. I don't think that's of any interest to me. I'm actually going to attack the bishop. Going for an exchange of ma. Interesting times. Let's attack this knight in the meantime. Let's take this off the board. Moving a bit quicker. I mean, they're on six minutes, we're on five minutes, but I feel like we're moving a bit faster now. Okay. That's nice, that's nice. Got the space here. Could go there. This knight comes around. Pawn takes, pawn takes, yeah. Um, I'm actually going to go for jumping the knight into here. Then consider this one. Whoa, no capture. That's an interesting thing, then, isn't it? It's actually protecting the pawn. He could sense we were building towards that. Queen, queen. Right back, up. Hmm. Right back up. Ooh, he's got a plan. He's got a plan, and I don't see that. Get this queen off the back. Come on, faster now. Faster, 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 faster. Do, 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 do.
What's going on? That threw me off. Okay, I need to be steady now. Don't want to do another mouse slip. In an advantage. Oh, okay, nice one. Okay, right, so let's move on. Oh, I'll tell, take a break. Just um, got to remember to take a break. Ooh.
four minutes each at the moment.
Okay. Right, take another break, I believe. We're nearly there. <laughs> we were nearly there last time. So 1790. So this is the snail sliver to 1800. So it's just a mere 10 more points to go. And this is going to be probably one of the hardest things that we have to go through just to get to the 1800 but we're showing the skills we're practicing the answer and taking it nice steady easy pace i mean 1800 it's not to be sniffed at you know so um if you're putting the effort in and the work in um if people say oh well it's easy playing 1800 type things then um obviously they are very special people and they're really skillful but at the same token uh, you can play 2000s, you can play 2000 pluses, which I have done and I have many videos of those playing 2000 pluses and you can really give them some good games. So reaching 1800 really to me isn't to be sniffed at on, you know, for online type thing. Um, it doesn't really compare to an 1800 in real life, I don't think, and uh, depending on the level of the player that you are and the makeup of your person. But... Um, we're trying to get this 1800 in blitz and as you know we do not like blitz but we've persevered and we're working through to get to our supreme level of 1800 so I'm congratulating myself even before we even try and get to that point we're only 10 points away now imagine when you first start out you're like 1200 and then you drop down to 1000 you know a thousand or whatever and and you have to make your way back up type thing so imagine those scenarios there and as you've worked your way up then you've basically said to yourself yeah i can reach this level again so if i had to start again i can reach it again and this is the kind of thing that i have done i've reached 1800 before i've reached 2000 before but it's not very often you see many players starting from the beginning again and working their way up. It's the extreme ex um, streamers, you know, who are going from zero to whatever, you know, there's grandmasters, that type of thing. So you expect them to be able to do it. But you don't normally see the ordinary Joe like me starting from scratch again, you know, and then working the way through. You know, once they reach 2000, a normal person's going to go, I ain't going back down there again. And I'm not playing any low rated players because I don't want them taking my rating from me. You know, that sort of scenario. I'm not like that. Yeah. I want to play as many people as possible, especially in the lower regions, because that's where the shock factors come in. You know, where people go, oh, I shouldn't be losing to a, a, a 800 or a 900 or X, this, that and the other, etc. And you might not actually be playing at 800 or 900. You might be playing a Fiddy Grandmaster who is actually just playing around on the, on, they've got a new account and they're playing around playing lower rated players. You don't know. We, ne we will never know. So working from the zero to the 1800 has really been a brilliant exercise for me i'm hoping to get to the 1800 today um i'm going to play as many games as possible just to get those extra 10 points if i go down then i go down but i'm not really expecting to go too far down unless of course i do loads of mile slips throughout the games so i'm going to take a break and then we're going to jump back in see if we can get these glorious 10 points to hit the 1800 mark in the dreaded blitz the worst case scenario is if i think i'm going for 1800 in bullet I don't think so.
Mm, too far. Excuse me.
That was a terrible, terrible, terrible opening. I moved the bishop too far. Took my eye off the board. I know exactly what happened. <laughs> I took my eye off the board and then dropped it in the wrong place. So we had to scrabble around on that one. Okay, right. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Shall we just go for straight for another one? Should just take a little bit of a rest and breather again, you know. Rest down, not like a blitz machine. You know what I mean? Okay, let's. We're ready. Come on, let's try and get the target. Oh, it only bumped up by three points. Maybe this might give us a seven-pointer. Oh, I think though. It's because we're focusing on this target, it's an impacting on my game. I'm kind of wanting it too much. I need to just chill and relax. And if it comes, it comes. Or else I could be playing this all day just to try and get to the 1800. Just focus, nice steady games. <clears throat> Man, not like that.
Whew. Okay, let's just uh, keep going. Don't think about it. Six more points. This is going to be so painful, isn't it? It's going to be one point here, one point there. <laughs> oh dear. It's going to go on to a two hour session, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's go. Don't think about it. Just look at the board. And that's it. Just play your game.
Ouch, that's going to hurt. Ooh, we'll get to practice that one, don't we? Yeah. Oh, dude, we're five points away from it again. Come on, five points away. We win this one. This is the last one. We've got to treat this like the final now. Come on. So my bum is getting sore here.
Hmm. I didn't think it was the night, but I'm taking that. I thought the queen was coming here. Spoiling my party. I don't know what happened there. Okay. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Come on. Oh, plus three. 1790. Well, 1798. Oh, we've got to play another one. Oh, give me strength. Right, let's get this out of the way then. Come on. I'm ready to take a break now. Big style. It's an hour and a half. Wow. Right, are we ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. The last one now. It all depends on the person's rating, doesn't it? Yes, this will take us through, won't it? Surely. Concentrate. What was that? Hmm. Strange opening. Hmm. I've got to move quicker. Come on. Two points away. Come on. This is a really weird opening. This player's playing this. I don't understand this. You, you look at it and you think this isn't effective, but I'm, I'm definitely not dumbing it down. It looks odd. I don't feel like I can do anything.
Hmm. I'm not liking this at all. I'll take a free night. Come on, that must be it now. Oh no, he's carrying on. Oh, um, I'm not sure. <gasps> Plus two. 1800 in Blitz. Of all the things, 1800 in Blitz again. Ah, we can celebrate. Excellent. The snail trail has ended for our Blitz journey to 1800 again. Thank you very much. Chest Jim out.